going to have a quick look today at how to do a gradient mesh. Now I'm going to do a really quick version. You can make these as complex as you like. Today I'll just show you a simple way that you can expand on as you explore your skills. What I've done is I've opened up a new A4 landscape document. I've placed a picture of a banana on here. I would definitely suggest starting with a simple shape like a piece of fruit for your first gradient mesh. What I'd like to do is I'm going to create a new layer on top and double clicking on the layer that has the banana, bring this up here. What I'd like to do is click template and I'm going to dim the images to 100%. Okay, now on layer two, what I'd like to do is uh, I'm going to draw myself just a, a kind of a rectangle here. Um, and now I'd like to come up to view. So instead of working in our normal preview mode, we're going to work in outline mode. And this will just mean that I can actually see what I'm doing as I work. One of the things that I would recommend though is coming up to window and having a navigator window here. This will actually show you a small version of the normal preview mode that you'd be working in. So you can see here I drew a white box. So you can see the white box on top of my banana, but in outline mode, we just see the outline. So what I'd like to do is make this outline here into a mesh. The way we can do that is I select my shape here. I'm going to come up to object, create gradient mesh. Now within here, it's created, as you can see, quite a few different rows and columns. I'm going to simplify it because I can always add in more later, but to begin with it's, it's quite a bit easier if we just start with less. So I'm going to go with two rows and two columns and click OK. Now coming in with my direct selection tool, I'm just going to start moving this box around so it's covering over my banana. As I said, I can always come in and manipulate these a little bit more, but it's just easier starting with less. need to add in a few extra points here and to do that I come over here to my mesh tool and I can just click on these lines to add in. I'm going to add some around this side of the banana and then I can manipulate it a little bit more. Alright, so I think for the sake of our demonstration, this is, is pretty close. This is close enough for what we'd like to have a look at. Now you can see up in my navigator here, this white shape is basically covering my banana. Um, and here I can see the gradient mesh with the banana underneath. Might just add in one more, uh, some extra points there. Now what I'd like to do with my direct selection tool, each of these points, each of these anchors, I'm going to use my eyedropper tool and select a colour from the preview banana below and it will create a gradient mesh. And if as I'm doing this you watch up here, this white shape will slowly become a gradient mesh on top of the banana. Now that's looking pretty good. I can see here I've missed a couple. I'll just show you, if I come back up here to view GPU preview, you'll be able to see here a bit easier um, the ones that I've missed. So I can see here there's a bit of white showing here on this point and over here. So I can go back in and go back into my outline mode or I can actually do it in this mode as well. Um, it just won't select it from the banana underneath, but I can just select another color that I like. So I'll use my direct selection tool, 
select the points I think that are missing colour and just fix those up. All right, so I'd say now my banana is looking pretty close to what I'd like it to be. I'm just going to remove that template from underneath. So it's not perfect. I could spend a lot longer working on this and getting it exactly how I'd like it to be. But that gives you a little bit of an overview on the gradient mesh tool. Thanks for watching and enjoy working with it.